హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ మై సెల్ఫ్ డాక్టర్ ఎన్ సిహెచ్ రామ్ గోపాల్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఇన్ ది డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ హ్యుమానిటీస్ అండ్ సైన్సెస్ ఎంఎల్ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ హైదరాబాద్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ టు ది టుడేస్ ప్రెసెంటేషన్ ఆన్ బైనామల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ పార్ట్ త్రీ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ సెషన్ వీ హ్యావ్ సాల్వ్ సమ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆన్ బైనామల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అండ్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఆల్సో విల్ కంటిన్యూ ద సేమ్ అగైన్ వీ సాల్వ్ సమ్ మోర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆన్ బైనామల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అండ్ కమింగ్ టు దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ నెంబర్ సిక్స్ If the probability of a defective bolt is 1 by 8, find the mean and variance for the distribution of defective bolts of 640. So, the probability of a defective bolt is given 1 by 8. And find the mean and variance uh, for the distribution of defective bolts of 640. So, here given the probability of a defective bolt. So, which is, let us consider this as small p, 1 by 8. That implies q will be 1 minus p, so 1 minus 1 by 8, which is 7 by 8. And uh, defective bolts of 640. So, out of 640 bolts, we need to calculate this mean and variance of, for this uh, distribution. And we know that the mean of binomial distribution mu equal to np and variance sigma square is npq. So, here mu equal to n into p, n is 640 into 1 by 8. This gives mean 640 into 1 by 8 which gives, so this is 80 and then Sigma square is NPQ, N into P into Q, 7 by 8 also. So, this is 80 into 7 by 8, which is 70. Hence, the mean mu of the distribution is 80 and variance is 70. The next one, in 256 sets of 12 tosses of a coin, how many cases one can expect 8 heads and 4 tails? So, the, again I repeat, in 256 sets of 12 tosses of a coin, how many cases one can expect 8 heads and 4 tails? So, simply here, the experiment is tossing a coin, tossing a coin and we know that in this, exp in this experiment of tossing a coin, the outcomes are only 2, head or tail. So, either success or failure. We can consider that head as a success. So, getting head as a success. And what is the probability of getting head when a single coin is tossed 1 by 2? So, that implies our P is 1 by 2 and Q is also 1 by 2. 1 minus P is Q. So, P equal to 1 by 2, Q equal to 1 by 2. Now, here the Experiment is repeated 12 times, 12 tosses of a coin. So, n equal to 12. Now, how many cases one can expect 8 heads and 4 tails? So, that means x equal to 8 because x denotes the number of successes, number of heads. x is the number of heads which is the success here. So, using binomial distribution, the binomial distribution formula is probability of x successes is n c x p power x q power n minus x. And here we need to calculate getting 8 heads out of 12 times. Getting 8 means remaining 4 times uh, obviously we will get failure. That means we will get tails. The result is tail in the remaining 4 times. So, here x equal to 8 means 12 c 8 p is 1 by 2 power 8, q is 1 by 2 power 12 minus 8, 12 minus 8 is 4. So, if you calculate this value, this 12 factorial by 8 factorial into 12 minus 8, 1 by 2 power 8, 1 by 2 power 4. So, by after simplifying and using the calculator, we will get 495 by 2 power 12. Here, yeah, the question is not to find the probability. How many cases one can expect 8 heads and 4 tails and since uh, to this same thing is repeated 256 times. 
So, the final answer is 256 into probability of getting 8 successes. That means 8 times head. So, 256 into 495 by 2 power 12 and which results as 30.9375. But this is the number of times, number of cases that can, uh, that should be an integer. So, let us consider the answer as 31. In 256 sets of 12 coins, 12 tosses of a coin. So, this 12 is the number of trials n and 8 times head. So, getting head is success. So, x equal to 8. Find the probability of getting 8 times success and multiply it with the total frequency. That means 256. This 256 is the total frequency. That results as 31. Similarly, the next one, 6 dice are thrown 729 times. So, again here, it is very clear that n equal to 6. 6 dice are thrown. How many times do you expect at least 3 dice show a 5 or 6? So, x equal to 3. If 6 dice are thrown, we need to find the probability of getting 3 times our success. And what is that success getting number 5 or 6? So, what is the probability of getting number 5 or 6? That is probability of getting number 5 plus probability of getting number 6. Number 5, in how many ways we will get this number 5? Out of 6 possible outcomes of this experiment of throwing a single die, number 5 is only possible in one way. So, 1 by 6 is the probability of getting number 5. Number 6 also, one and only one possibility. So, the answer is 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3. So, we got the probability P as 1 by 3. That implies Q is 1 minus P which is 2 by 3. So, we have N, X, P, Q. So, we can use the binomial distribution. By binomial distribution, probability of X successes is N C X, P power X, Q power N minus X. We need to calculate out of 6 times getting 3 times success and what is that success getting number 5 or 6. So, 6 C 3 and 1 by 3 power 3 and 2 by 3 power 6 minus 3 is again 3. So, here the answer 233 by 729 and we need to calculate how many times do you expect this case out of 729 times. So, the final answer is the frequency 729 multiplied by the probability of getting 3 successes. So, 729 into 233 by 729 and so 233 times we got 3 dice are showing 5 or 6 and coming to the next problem, 2 dice are thrown 120 times. So, again here 2 dice are thrown. So, the sample space contains the combinations. 1, 1, 1, 2, so on 1, 6, 2, 1, 2, 2, so on 2, 6 and similarly 6, 1, 6, 2 and so on 6, 6. So, N of S contains 36 elements. Find the average number of times in which the number of first die exceeds that of second die. So, here the number of first die exceeds the number on second die. So, that means for example, if you consider this event, this case 2 comma 1, yeah, the first one is greater than second. Similarly, 3 1, 3 2, 4 1, 4 2. In all these cases, the number on the first die is greater than that of second. Not only this, there are other cases also. 4 3, 5 1, 5 2, 5 3, 5 4, 6 1, 6 2, 6 3, 6 4 and 6 5. So, these are the possible cases for this event. And how many possible cases are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, that means here our probability of success 
small p is getting the first number number on the first die exceeds the number on the second die so this is possible in 15 cases out of 36 so the probability of success p is 15 by 36 that simple as q is 1 minus p which is 7 by so which is 5 by 12 so 7 by 12 and what is the required one to find the average number of times so average that means the mean mu expectation so mu equal to n into p since uh, this follows the binomial distribution so mu equal to n into p and what is n here 120 times multiplied by p is 5 by 12 so 50 average on an average 50 times we will get the result as a number on the first day exceeds the number on the second day next the tenth one the incidence of an occupational disease in an industry is such that workers have 20 percent chance of suffering from it so from this data the percentage is given percentage means 20 out of 100 so favorable out of total so the probability is given the probability of incidence of a disease is given probability is 0 0.2 what is the probability that out of six workers so n equal to six selected at random four or more will suffer from the same disease so we need to calculate probability of x is greater than or equal to four that means four or more x equal to four x equal to five and x equal to six and we have probability of x successes using binomial distribution n c x p power x q power n minus x and we have n is 6 c x 0 0.2 power x and 0 0.8 power 6 minus x if p is 0 0.2 q is 0 0.8 so let us substitute all these values here out of 6 times so 6 c 4 0 0.2 power 4 0 0.8 power 6 minus 4 is 2 plus 6 c 5 0 0.2 power 5 0 0.8 power 1 plus 6 c 6 0 0.2 power 6 0 0.8 power 0 so after finding these values and simplifying we will get the probability of getting 4 persons suffer from this disease out of 6 is given by 0 0.0175 so almost a very less probability so like this we can find the probabilities of the given using binomial distribution today's session we have solved some problems on binomial distribution if n p q are given we can find the probability of getting x time success similarly if the other values are given we can find n the parameters of binomial distribution n and p also similarly we can find the mean mean mu and variance sigma square so depending on the given data we can calculate the required values and in the next session again we solve some more problems on binomial distribution we deal with uh, different uh, types of problems thank you